Hi, this is Dan Nickerson, and welcome to MyBlogSetup.com. What my blog setup is is actually a zip file and a few files that I can give you that will enable you to set up a WordPress site in just a couple of minutes. And that WordPress site will have my premium theme and my premium Acme theme, my premium plugins. It's going to have the most popular WordPress plugins already installed. It actually has policy pages already set up. Uh, and like these, for example, terms of use, disclaimer, privacy policy. If I click on one of these, you can see there's a privacy policy already there. Um, it also has uh, the permalink set up correctly. So you can see that down here that they actually have the right permalinks, the page IDs. Um, and I've done a couple other tweaks here and there uh, in the install so that you can uh, quickly set up a WordPress blog. Let me go to the dashboard real fast here. And I'll just show you some of the installed plugins. You can see there's the Acme Traffic Related RSS. This sells for $27. Acme Traffic Selected RSS, which is also a, a sold plugin at different prices right now. Um, I have a Kismet uh, all in one SEO pack. I have a Contact Form 7, Easy No Index No Follow, Google XML Sitemaps, uh, SEO Friendly Images, SEO Smart Links, Subscribe to Comments Reloaded, WordPress Database Backup, WordPress Policies. WP Supercache and WP Touch, which is for a mobile compliance uh, site. Now, a lot of these will still need to be configured by you because it doesn't make sense to pre-configure certain settings for different reasons, but they're not set up. And there are a couple of plugins that are actually inactive, and you would just uh, activate those. And the reason I did that was things like Google Sitemaps, um, you'd want to activate and install uh, because you don't want to have a sitemap that's already configured to another domain. And one of the other things I've added is Contact Form 7. If you go to Pages here, you're going to see that I have all these different policy pages that are built in. Um, but for the Contact page, you would want to just uh, make sure you set up your Contact page and save that, and you have instantly have a Contact page. Uh, that's just done because you want to set up your own Contact page, and not everybody wants a Contact page, so I left it as a draft. So let me show you how you can take this entire install right here and put it on a brand new site in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I'm on a whole new site here. This is Diet Shakes 101. Um, you can see there's nothing on here at all. I'm just going to reload. There's nothing on the page at all. What I need to do is go to cPanel. And the reason I'm going to cPanel, uh, by the way, if you have if you have FTP access to this domain already, you do not need to go to cPanel. I'm actually doing this just so I can show those who don't know FTP how to use the file manager uh, of cPanel to upload the files that are needed. So I'm going to go to cPanel, and I just need to type in the... Uh, username and password and I'm clicking on OK and there I am so I'm in cPanel here and I want to go to file manager and so I go to file manager you're going to see that I have no files here this is the public HTML the directory is empty I need to upload four files so I gave you these files um, after you purchased um, my blog setup so you want to browse to those files. They're on here. They are in a folder on my desktop. So the first one I upload is blog backup. So I double click on that and it's uploading. So I'm just going to let that upload. Should just take another couple of seconds. Okay, so that file is uploaded. Then I upload these other three files. Those just take a second to upload. Okay, and those are all uploaded. So I'm done uploading files. If you had FTP, you could just upload those four files and you're done. I go back to the main page and you're going to see these four files here. I click on Flip Me Clone and it pulls me to this uh, this page. Now what I'm using is I'm actually using part two of a restore script um, from FlipMeClone.com. There's actually a link right here. So click on this link to go to Flip Me Clone and find out more about the program if you want to. It's a great way to back up and clone a WordPress site. So if you want to move your own version of WordPress, your perfect blog, to another site, then you can do the same thing that I'm doing here um, and transfer it from one site to another. Uh, but part two of it, like I'm showing you here, is actually free. So I am able to give you these files so you can restore a blog. And this is great if you flip sites and stuff because you can just give the new owner of the site the um, these files and they can set up the blog on their own site and their own hosting. So here is um, a support link. This actually goes to my support if you need help with this uh, system. Uh, this is telling you that cPanel hosting is preferred otherwise you're going to need to create your own database before doing this and those these instructions will tell you the two differences. But I'm going to create a fresh database so I'm going to click on this 
and it takes me to this next setup page and all I need to do is enter these variables and I'm gonna be done if you can believe that so I type in diet shakes 101.com I'm gonna leave in the main directory if I want to do a subdirectory I could type in something like blog and a slash and that would put it into a blog subdirectory I need my cPanel username and then I have a uh, temporary password which I used to use for this video I'm going to type in localhost desired database name so this could just be something like you know WPDB uh, this could be desired database username so it could just be WP admin desired database password this can be anything I recommend you use a secure password there are password generators you can use um, for this example I'm just going to keep it uh, simple here and that's it now I want to click on install backup and it actually is going to tell me if I have any errors and I do not uh, so if there's no errors I can just click on install backup and I'm done cloning complete view blog and look on here and boom look this is what we've got diet shakes 101 it has um, everything all set up here if I want to log in I'm just gonna type in a username of admin and a password which uh, I sent you as well and you're gonna want to change these immediately there's a couple of things you oops login okay so I'm logged in here and the first thing you want to do is you want to change your password so you want to go in here to users and you just want to go edit and you can change the password right here just enter a new password you also want to change the email as well the next thing you can do is go into I'm not gonna go through the whole setup procedure but you'll get the idea that I can now change this to diet shakes 101 I'll leave the tagline blank I can change the email here to you know change this at diet shakes 101.com if I want to and then I just click on save changes and now I go back to the, the site and you can see it says dietshakes 101.com and so I won't go through all the setup of all the plugins and everything but suffice to say you can instantly do this and I'll, I'll just at least show you um, we go to install plugins and you can see that all the plugins are here as well and so that's it that's how my blog setup works um, if you do it correctly you simply download a zip file extract four files go to your new domain upload those four files um, fill out that one little form and you're instantly gonna have um, the identical blog to what I'm giving you here on your site and you can start posting content and setting up the plugins right away and uh, hopefully it'll save you a lot of time and you also get some premium plugins included in the, in the price so uh, that's it hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions uh, check out the support link thanks